Right, gents, welcome to video tutorial number three of the Toy Bucky uh, construction and assembly. We are now um, going to be doing Bucky, the Bucky wheel and axle dimensions and construction. So we're going to start with the axle. Um, and so let's go back to SketchUp and let's go to our, let's change the view. We want to get ourselves into a front view position again. Let's pan ourselves across. So the dimensions of this are two millimeter. It has a two millimeter radius or a four millimeter diameter, <coughs> and it has a 50 mil length. But we're not going to apply the 50 mil length in the beginning. So let's go, and uh, you'll see why. So let's go back to Sketcher. All right. We're then going to create get the circle command, and we're going to click it anywhere to the the left here, and we're going to. Uh, punch in a two millimeter radius and enter. And then we're going to come to the side here. And what I want to do is, I want to make this exactly the length of the car for now, or the width of the car. And if you remember correctly, that was 40 millimeters. So I get my push-pull command, and I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna pull it across to 40 millimeters. We do not want to go 50 yet, and you'll see why in a moment. Right, just like we do with everything we create, we're going to triple click, right click, and we're going to make it a group. And let's add some material. I'm going to use a nice light gray to distinguish it from the black wheels or tires. And I'm going to copy this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan myself around, right? And I'm going to go move, command, control to get the plus. And then I'm just going to pull this across. I'm going to grab one of the points, endpoints, and pull it across. So now we've got two axles ready to go for the two slots that we have underneath the vehicle. Right, now we need to move these by associating a common point on the axle with a common point on the car. Right, so I'm going to click on however. First, we want to tag these, I'm nearly jumping the gun here. So we want to tag these. We're going to create a new tag and call it axle. Bucky, axle. Okay, we're going to make sure we highlight that, and we're going to make sure that we apply it to both axles. How do we know that it's working? Well, if we click, the eye, release the eye, we don't see the bucky axles. We click again, and they come back. So let's find a common point and position these accordingly. So I'm going to go to the Move command. I'm going to grab this top point over here, this top end point. So we want to try and get ourselves, <clears throat> see, flush on top there. So it looks like our snap uh, snapping isn't working. So we're going to go just check the info. We have a snap interval of one millimeter. So we should be getting um, a good snap. Let's just see what the problem might be. Right, so how are we going to do this after a bit of troubleshooting is to, let me get my views sorted again. <clears throat> is we're going to grab the midpoint. We're going to drag it across. We're going to just place our mouse on that endpoint over there and then drag across until we get our mouse on the center of that group. We're going to click on that and then we would have placed it perfectly um, in line with the slot that was available for us. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go center point. Let's get ourselves a center point. Just move your mouse until, it, there we go. This might have to zoom in. So we click on the center of the group. We're going to pan ourselves across. And we're going to either click there or go up to the, that center point, drag it down, and you'll see it snaps onto the center of that group. Brilliant. So now our axles are in place, but they're not long enough. So if we go back to our bucky and wheel dimensions, we know that they're, it's 50 in total because we need a 5 mil extension on either side in order to assemble the wheels on the axle. So we're going to push and pull for five millimeters on either side of the bucky. So we're going to select the group. We're going to go push and pull. And we're going to grab this. So we're going to make sure that it's highlighted. Excuse me. OK, now it's ready. I've double clicked it. It's ready to be manipulated. So we're going to click. We're going to pull out our five enter. I want to show you what I did there. So make sure everything else is gray around. So I'm going to double click. Everything goes gray and gives us access to manipulate that, uh, that object, that group. 
and I'm going to type in push. I'm going to pull it five millimeters, enter. We're going to go do the same thing at the back here. Double click, push and pull five millimeters out, enter. Oopsie, I haven't done that properly. So let's go back to the face. Let's make sure that we bring that five millimeters out, enter. Good. Right, let's go across here and let's click and drop it out five millimeters, enter. So the axles are now long enough for us to insert the tires onto them or the wheels. So let's go and have a look at the total dimensions of the wheels. What we have here is a total dimension of a radius. So the radius of the wheel is, 20, is 10 millimeters, so a 20 diameter. The hole obviously on the inside is two mils to, to fit onto the axis and the total width of the wheel is going to be 5. So it's 10 radius, 2 mil radius on the inside, and a 5 um, width. So I'm going to go back to my front view. Right, I'm going to move across here. We know we've got a 10 mil radius. So I'm going to click create my wheel here. 10 mil radius, enter. We want to go to the center of the object. So keep moving over until you find that it gives you generally by referencing a point there we go so generally you want to reference a point like that and then come back to the middle and it should then snap on the center so we click there type in 2 enter perfect what do we want to do we want to click on that space in the middle and delete it just like we did the car we want to move around to this side and we want to push pull this tire or wheel a total of five millimeters and press enter now we need four of these. So let's first quickly select it three times. One, two, three. Right click and make a group. Tag it. We want to call it wheel. Okay. Make sure we highlight wheel. Click on it. Let's get the purple highlights. There we go. So the wheel is done. Let's just make sure it's correct. And so it is. Now what we want to do with this, go back to our front view, and we want to add a material to it we're going to use a normal black as it's a tire and it should then highlight the whole object back to the front view scenes front view it's much easier to work in the front view in this instance so I'm going to pull this across and we're now going to multiply this so we're going to go move we're then going to go control I'm going to find the center point there it is click on it and we're going to move it across. That's one tire, one wheel. Drop, control, get a midpoint again. Click. We want to pan across, drop it, control, and we'll find. Remember, we just move on to a, a reference point, come back, it'll give us the center, and then we keep panning across and adding another wheel. Those are the four wheels ready to go. Right, and we're going to go and then place them on the axles. So let's start with um, this axle over here and this wheel. So the front view, right? I'm going to grab the center again. And we're going to go grab the center of the axle. So we want to use, try and reference the center of the axle if we can. There we go. Put it onto the center there we go and it snaps on it's got to be very careful with that there we go in position so again try zoom in a little bit more to get that snap so we're going to zoom in we're going to get we're going to reference a point grab the center we're going to pan nice and across towards the back axle we're going to zoom in quite a lot here we're going to pick a reference point on the side on the axis axle and then it'll snap on the center point and there you have it so we're going to go around to the back, right, to the back view. <clears throat> you can do it on scenes. We do the same thing here. Reference a point there, and it should then snap us, give you the center of the group. You can pull it across here. Let me make sure I'm nice and 2D on, nice and orthographic. And then let's go zoom in, get a reference point on the outside of the axle. There we go. Go until we get a nice reference onto the middle here. There it is, center of the group. That's the, what we're looking for, center of the group. So here again, 
we're going to find a reference, center of the grip, grab it, and we're going to come across here, and we're going to zoom in again, and there it is. We want to find the center of the grip. Let's go back there, using that as a reference. There it is, center of the grip. Click, and we've now assembled all wheels onto the bucky. Right, there we have it. The bucky is ready to go, it's ready for dimensioning, and ready to be um, taken as a snapshot or a PNG rather. So what do we do here? We want to go across to this command over here and we want to find dimensions. <clears throat> so we want a total width dimension. I'm going to go from that point. In fact, probably even better, let's do the top two corners over here so that the dimension can be seen above the bucky. We want to grab that corner and we want to move straight up. Now the problem here is that dimension is very small. So what we're going to do is go to Info, we're going to go to Text, we're going to go to our dimensions. We want to align it in the middle, absolutely. We want arrows. We want to create potentially about an 18 mil, sorry, an 18 size regular font, update all dimensions. We want to delete the millimeters, we don't need that. All right, or you can, you can keep it. It's entirely up to you. But not necessary. It's not necessarily needed. We're then going to take the dimensions from this point over here all the way across to that its opposing point. We'll drop it down, and it gives us a nice 140 mils. We can then uh, go delete the millimeters. Thereafter, we need the total height. And in order to do that, I'm going to take my dimensions from there, right from there. So that pink, that purple, to that point down the bottom, and I'm going to shift it out along the back, and that will give us our total height of the car. So three dimensions that we need are in. In order to get the snapshot of this, we're going to then go to <clears throat> what do we see? That's the glasses. We don't want any guides. We don't want any axis either. And then we want to go to the style, because the style really that we want is a default style, and we want a white background. Okay, as soon as you do that, it brings back the axis. So let's go back to display, take the axis away, and then we're going to go to um, our hamburger menu. We're going to go to um, download, and we're going to go to PNG. Then I can zoom in, and I can move this around, but it's, I'm happy with exactly what we have there, and then I'm going to export it as a PNG. It will then look like this, as we open it, as a normal SketchUp PNG a web image. This you will then upload to your team's assignments. Good luck, guys, and, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed the process.